talked to one Haitian yet who was actually like upset or angry at God. Like they actually get really a, like, how would they even suggest that type of attitude? It's like, it's like, no, God protected me, he kept me alive, he saved me. Everyone else died, and uh, you know, I'm the other. Wow, it's just a really cool perspective, I guess. I wasn't expecting that. I'm pretty sure me and most Americans would just be shaking our fists at God, you know, for letting it happen. But Haitians are pretty. Uh, um, like they're not angry at God at all for any of the stuff that that happens. They're pretty just thankful that God let them live. Yes. That's uh that's amazing. Is that how you feel too? Yes. Yeah. Today we went to a tent community and just spent some time praying for people. I was ushered up to the front of the group of people that had gathered and the lines for us to pray for people just grew forever and ever. One of the things that stood out to me the most is that as these Haitian people asked me to pray for them, uh, what I was expecting would be physical needs. And much like we have you know, back in the United States when you sit down and do a small group, you ask for people for prayer requests and they think for a second or two and then most of the requests end up being about physical needs, so and so sick, my aunt was in a car accident, you know, things like that, which are fine. Um, and I was expecting some of that here from the Haitians just because their physical needs are so great. You know, food, water, clothing, basic shelters, you know, those, those things. I was expecting for a lot of that. But what I got instead were the Haitian people coming to me and saying, will you pray that I will become a great prayer warrior? Or will you pray for me that I will be able to understand God's word and get to know him better? Or will, will you pray for me that, that I could become a spiritual leader or that God will transform my heart. Prayer requests like that. I'm not sure the last time I ever heard prayer requests like that before. I don't even know the last time I've even asked prayer requests like that for myself, for people. It was very convicting uh, to know that these people, despite all their physical needs, are looking to Jesus and saying, we need prayer for our spiritual lives, for us to grow and get closer to Jesus even more than we need those physical, those physical needs. I'm talking like they just go up for like hours and hours and hours. And they dance and they pray and they preach for like ever. to God um, for help. This is what they should have, uh, they should have done a mm -hmm. uh, very long time ago, but they didn't do so. But now I was very excited um, for the past three days that the people uh, uh, gathered together just to seek for God. Yeah. And I know, I know that God is about to do awesome thing in Haiti. There is a possibility for God to see these people through this disaster happening. Yeah. All right? Yeah. But uh, um, I'm very happy for my people yeah. because they realize the only solution that they can have for Haiti is to put Haiti in the hands of God. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They'll soar high on wings like eagles. They'll run and not grow weary. They'll walk and not faint. Jesus. 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 Jesus.